everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to my one and only, yours truly. I'm talking about a life changing, altered life. Now, we're going to talk about this. I said on the previous video, one of my previous videos, about Caitlin Nicole Davis. And I said to myself, this will be the last time I speak of her. Well, just think for a sec, people. Imagine, imagine that we haven't talked a whole lot about her. This girl, who you already know, passed away in 2016. That's 2016, at ripe old age of uh, 12. Uh, the name uh, you should know is she, he, she had a relationship with this girl, uh, this guy named Luke Cowway. You may not have heard about him. I'm not going to speak of him, but he had a relationship with that guy. Uh, look him up on YouTube. Uh, he's there. He has his own videos there, but I'm not going to associate with him with this the uh, this girl here you see on the thumbnail videos. Uh, but I will tell you this, folks. She had a lot of problems in her life. A lot of problems. This is a 12-year-old girl, mind you. This is a 12-year-old girl. She, uh, she's, uh, she was learning the ropes of an adult. She was learning the ropes of an adult at 12 years old. Not like 20 years old, 12 years old. This is for, this is like any little girl out there, the same age as she was, but they would never do what she did, sort of thing. You know, it's like, she, girls at her age never want to commit suicide. They never want to put that in their mind, let alone talk about it. This girl mentioned in one of the videos, one of the early videos, that she was going to commit suicide. She foreshadowed her her life. And uh, it's in one of the videos, and it was a suicide video. What she did was an old-fashioned hanging. Um, meaning, she put a rope around the uh, on the tree and hanged herself or hung herself, and nobody in their right mind would want to do this. I mean, this twelve-year-old girl. This is kind of like the old-fashioned way where they would do that sort of thing. But you know, this is not what people do when they want to commit suicide. They could, they could do other means. As people would say other means of committing suicide, but she went the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way is, like, get a rope, hang it on a tree, and just, you know, strangle yourself and commit suicide. And that's what she did. A 12-year-old girl foreshadowed what she was going to do on one of the early videos before she even did it. And that's hard to believe. So all you parents out there, gotta be careful with your daughters out there. Really be very careful. I'm not I'm trying to be racist out here, folks. I'm not trying to be racist. But, yeah, this girl, um, at age of 12, I kid you not, uh, committed suicide by old-fashioned hanging. Now, nobody in their right mind would want to do this at a ripe old age of 12. She was learning, sort of like an adult. She was learning the adult way in the ripe old age of 12. And I got to hand it to this girl. I've seen several, several of her videos, and I was quite stunned how mature she became at age 12. And, you know, age is just a number. As my friends would say, age is just a number. But anyway, she went through a lot of lot of things in her life. She couldn't do... She was going to help a lot of people out there, but she couldn't help herself, essentially. Uh, she thinks other people are, are more beautiful. And they always saw the inner beauty, beauty and the outer beauty. And that's what, that was this little girl saying this in some of her videos. And uh, it was not her fault. It was just, she trying to tell everybody out there that the inner beauty is better than the outer beauty. And yeah, she comes across as a 12-year-old girl. And this is really sad for anybody in this right mind would love to do this. Anyway, I'm going to leave it that. Nicole, uh, this is uh, Kaylin Nicole Davis. We know what happened to her. We're not going to do an EVP. We're not going to do, uh, you know, communication to her in the afterlife. We're not going to do any of that stuff. We're not going to do what people do in a paranormal investigation and try to communicate to her in the afterlife. 
Uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to get spirit box. We're not going to do any of those things. All we're doing right now is really talk about her story. Her story needs to be told. And that's what we're trying to do. By the means of YouTube and a lot of social media. The media won't let go. They won't let go. It just won't be that way. So we're going to talk about her further. I know I said the last time I would speak of her from the last previous video. But I want to take it more further than that. We're, it's a story that needs to be told about this girl. And it was really terrible. Really.